Welcome to day four here in Haynes, Alaska, and the Freeride World Tour team are still on site. David Arnu, behind me, head of the TV team, is currently on the phone to Nicholas Howe Wood to find out whether the venue is good to go. Yes! What does that mean? I don't know. So what this means is that there is no competition tomorrow, but the venue has been confirmed. So these guys, the live web team, have to get all their stuff together and head up the mountain now, and they'll be sleeping up on the mountain. Oh, my God. Mike, so what does this mean for you lot? Uh, this, means, this means a good probably two days up in the tents, up at altitude. We've got 16 of us that are going up. We've got a core of uh, four guys with two guides and plus some extra guides. Uh, we're looking at maybe uh, two days on hold up there, but we'll set up all the equipment and be ready. Maybe 10 of us will come down tonight. Maybe the rest will all sleep up there for a while. So we're all ready for it. It's going to be amazing. Well, good luck and stay warm up there. Oh, thank you very much. Team. All right. All right, guys. So whilst the competition is on hold, there is a lot of stuff to do here in Haynes, Alaska. You can start off at the organic supermarket and get yourself a lovely, delicious coffee. Mmm. And here we are in a beautiful Alaskan forest where you can go on amazing hikes. Although I'd watch out for the bears because they're probably waking up. What was that? A bear? Oh, God. Sylvia, help me. There's a bear. Oh, my God. No. A bear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're still sleeping. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, look, while you're here, can I have a chat with you? Of course. So, Sylvia, first year on the tour. How's, how's the experience been for you? Oh, it's really fun. I mean, it's, um, it's a very good company. You meet a lot of very... Besides the good riders that they are, it's very fun people to, to be with. And these days here in Alaska, we have had the time to stay a bit more together since we're not really skiing too much. So it's very nice. So let's go to back to the first stop in Chamonix. How was that experience for you? Oh, it was amazing because I made a, a third place and it was the first competition. So I was very, very excited. I didn't expect it. And... Uh, so it was even better. <laughs> what were the, some of the highlights after that? So we've been in Fieberbrunn and uh, I kind of fell in my run, but uh, still I got a fifth place. So I was happy with that. And then in Andorra, I had a very fun run. I, I really enjoyed it and I got fifth as well. So I, now I'm here in Alaska and I'm second. So it's very good. Before you started the tour, were you expecting to be in such a high ranking and um, does that af will that affect uh, your run or your feelings about your run in Alaska? So I really wasn't expecting it but my really like first objective was to make it over to Alaska so I did and I'm very happy now. I want to go to Verbie of course and ride the back the Ross so I'll try to have fun out there and uh, I'll try not to get too much affected about the the result is. Thanks very much for that, Sylvia. But to be honest, I'm bored of you now. I want to see more of Haynes. And here we are at Chilcot Lake. Look at it. It is disgustingly beautiful. Or you could do what this lot are doing and play disc golf. And this behind me is the TV production office where everyone's probably asleep or on Facebook. Or you can enjoy some wonderful alone time and take in the spectacular sea views. And right here on this river, you can fish a beautiful wild Alaskan salmon. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. And one thing we all have to do is weigh ourselves with all of our kit on, on these lovely scales right here. Because everyone on the tour is going to get heli dropped onto the mountain, so it's important to know our collective weight. <laughs> And if you manage to do all of that in one day, you're definitely going to want a beer. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Can someone open this, please? 